Hello, my name is Philippe. I'm a tutor here at Tech Music School. I'm just going to discuss a few ideas uh, about the drum set and demonstrate simple techniques you can use uh, on your drum kit. Drum fills. You'll be using drum fills uh, when you want to announce a new section in a tune, for instance. Um, obviously, drummers will spend most of the time playing groove, but going from the verse to the chorus, for instance, or the chorus to the bridge, um, the role of the drummer is just to tell the rest of the band, okay, new section is coming now. And that's most of the time why and when you would be playing uh, drum fills. The fill I'm going to demonstrate first is based on a hand-to-hand -hand sticking, uh, so right, left, right, left, right, left sticking, and the subdivision I'm going to use are uh, 16 notes, so basically four strokes per beat. Um, what I would recommend is just to get, first of all, really confident with playing that on the snare and making it sound relaxed and even as much as possible. Then, with that in mind, exploring different options around the kit. So for instance, moving clockwise. So I'm going to go from the snare to the rack tom, to the floor tom, back to the snare. Other ideas uh, will be to move hands, not necessarily in the, same, in the same way, but just replace some of the sounds. So for instance, if I'm playing the snare, I can move on different elements in a more sort of a random way. The flow is still 16th notes, but you can sort of make the phrases probably a little bit more interesting in the sense that uh, it's not always the same pattern. You use the different elements of the kit to bring an element of melody, basically. That's, that's the idea. Um, a little trick to make your, your feel sound as uh, effective as possible, it's to look at the dynamic contrast between the notes that will sound loud and the notes that you will, you'll keep quiet on the, on the kit. So basically, what I'm doing most of the time, it's when I'm playing the snare, I sort of play uh, the non-accented notes, piano, so sort of like ghost notes, really. <laughs> Something like that. And then I'm going to displace around the kit the accents. So I'm going to start playing a phrase on the snare, and then I'll play the same phrase around the kit using uh, the basically the same rhythm, but it will sound a little bit different because of the different elements of the kit. So here it is. So that's, that's a little trick that can be helpful when you really want to bring clarity to your fields to avoid that sort of one-dimensional sound where everything is played <laughs> at the same level, just bringing some dynamic contrast. Obviously, uh, the, it requires a little bit more technique, probably. It's a little bit more challenging, but again, it's definitely worth practicing those things to get a little bit more clarity. Uh, when you're approaching fields. And that's how to play a simple drum field.